morning everyone we're back to the vlog after the last few days have been really crazy uh, with the retirement ceremony what was happening before during and after uh, it's just been blown away but now back to normal life we got a busy week ahead of us so let's get started We got a couple things lined up today. The first thing on the agenda is I'm going to the PBA office this morning. I haven't been there in a long time. I'm anxious to go there and see if they've done anything new, but I'm doing an interview. Apparently there's a documentary, a PBA documentary coming out, and they're gonna they requested to interview me. I'm not sure quite what they're gonna ask but being part of the league for the last um, 17 years or so I should be able to answer them but I'm looking forward to seeing some familiar faces saying thank you to the commissioner talking to him maybe getting them on the podcast and um, just getting some good footage I guess over there there should be a lot to take some uh, some video of show you guys around the PBA office so that's hopefully traffic won't be too bad and we will get there and be able to conduct this interview should be pretty fun that's the first thing there's a there's something later and some things during the day but we got that first Okay, I'm here in front of the PBA office, getting ready to do this interview for the documentary. Let's go in, find out what that's all about, and say hi to some PBA personnel. Okay, so I'm here. I just finished my interview uh, with an, an esteemed member of the sports media for the last 30 years. Wow. Mr. Velasco is here, and we just got done doing an interview for your documentary. Uh, what is, do you have a name for it? What's it well, called? Well, it's actually called the PBA A Nation's Passion, and it's uh, the first and only documentary on the history of the PBA. That should be, that sounds like quite a project. Uh, yeah, we've been actually from uh, 
Initial concept to today, we're running uh, seven years already. Seven years. You're originally supposed to finish in 2014 for the 40th anniversary, but uh, Commissioner Narvasa saw that you know there were a lot of people like you guys who had not made the first cut. So we're, we're adding a lot of you know the heavy hitters. You have Giorgio Lastimosa, you have Jerry Codiniera. We're going to get Junior Fajardo. We got Greg Slaughter, Jacob Aguilar. Of course, Eric Wood, Tito Barella, you know, the legends of the modern referees like Bayer Desma. It's going to be a really, really full um, hour and a half or so. Wow, that sounds like quite a project. Now, if you've been working on it now since for seven years, when do you think the estimated uh, end product will be put together? Well, sometime before my death, I would think. I no, hope so, I hope so. No, but we're, we're uh, targeting towards the end of the year. And uh, one of the plans is to do a school tour, so we can show it to a new audience. Uh, maybe some of these uh, students who are not familiar with the PBN news today, uh, you know, get get an opportunity for them to see some of the players and coaches up close and personal. Also, so it's basically creating or prime priming a new market for the PBA. Yeah, I think anytime you have a chance to learn about the history of something, you appreciate the, the actual product today even more. So that's a great uh, project. I can't wait to see the end product. I want to thank you for having me oh, in today. Absolutely. It's uh, Some of your questions allowed me to go down memory lane and remember some things that uh, I don't always think about. So, so I appreciate that and we look forward to uh, you having it done here shortly. That'd be great. It'd be done by the end of the year. Excellent. Best of luck and hopefully we can work again soon yeah, together. Definitely. Looking forward to it. Alright. There you go. Thanks. Alright guys, see you later. Stay major. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. seeing you. So the interview went great. Bill Velasco was super accommodating. Uh, again, just talking history about the PBA. That documentary sounds great. I also had a chance to talk to the commissioner's executive assistant. I'm trying to get him on the podcast. So that would be huge to get the PBA commissioner on staying major. So made some good connections. Uh, Bill Velasco, we talked uh, real preliminary talks about possibly working together on another documentary or maybe putting together some tournaments. So really good guy to know. Had fun doing the interview. Love, haven't been to the PBA office in a while and I thought I'd give you guys a look at the inside. There's some really cool stuff in here. So exciting morning. Now, I have an appearance tonight on CNN Sports Desk. Yes, if you followed this vlog before, you've seen that I do go there and analyze basketball for CNN Philippines. But I'm not going to be taking my vloggers there with me. You guys have seen me there before. What I am going to do is that video will be up on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash emank30. We are going to talk a little Kobe Paras and we are going to talk a little Eric Mank retirement. So, got all dressed up. Looking forward to seeing Miko Halili seeing my friends over at CNN Philippines at Sports Desk and analyzing a little basketball. So take a look for that at facebook.com slash emank30. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified on my new videos. Good night everyone, I'll see you tomorrow.